Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and in Kunlai Summit in Pandaria, you'll find Mogushan Vaults, which is a level 90 raid that will drop the range of the Astral Cloud Serpent, which is about a 0.8 to like 8% drop rate according to Wowhead. In this video, I highly recommend doing it on 10-man normal and do that. Right-click your portrait, go to raid difficulty, switch it to 10-player, and then switch it to normal. This is the easiest way to do it. It drops on all difficulties except for LFR, and then... It's just easier to do it this way. So you start off and you can just go straight to the first boss. If you talk to Lorewalker Cho beforehand, he will turn off the the damage decrease all this stuff has. So I, unless you want like a challenge, I wouldn't talk to him. Um, you start off with this pull. Uh, in this video, I do speed up a lot of the trash pulls and looting and stuff. And just to kind of make it a little bit quicker. And I, I never did this when it was actual current content. So I'm not entirely sure of all the strats. But I'll try to give my best interpretation of what you have to do. Uh, it's all pretty easy at level 100. So these guys over here, this this trash pack, they stun you for some reason, or they stun you, I don't know which one specifically, but they do stun you, and so that's why I only pulled one at a time. If uh, you have like a really quick AoE that is off cooldown really quick, you can go ahead and use it, and they kill all that stuff really uh, really fast, pull both sides. Uh, this is the first boss here, the, the, I forget what they're called, but there is three of them, and pretty much bring them all together, AoE them down. They'll be spawning some things underneath you, like that purple thing that I just walked out of. There'll, there'll be like a blue circle. Uh, anything that isn't the ground, move out of it. That's pretty much this entire fight. And then that energy bar, I don't. I think it was like back in the day you had to bring one away and it had like an energy effect. And when it did that energy effect, it cleared your energy and something like that. I don't remember. I don't remember. I know I did that boss back in beta, but that was about it. Uh, this this over here, I I don't know exactly what for sure to do, but I just kind of jump around and click these guys and try to intercept that thing there uh, in the sky there, that cloud, and then eventually they spawn. So that's what I do, and then I just kill them. They don't do anything specific, they just kind of melee you. And then you go to the next pack as well, and they'll do the same thing. Or you do the same thing, you kind of intercept that cloud thing there, and then they just melee you. Uh, in this video, I am... 710 item level level 100 and i do have the legendary ring upgraded twice so 741 i think item level something like that so uh it is very easy once you get the 700 item level well not very easy but it's a lot easier once you get to 700 uh this first boss he has four corners that he goes to throughout this fight i only got to three uh the first one not entirely sure what it does i don't think it does anything very important and i don't know what percentages or what dictates when he goes to the next one but this second one over here, he will spawn a fire patch underneath you. I know that for sure. And obviously you want to not stand in that. And then the third one, he puts like a purple circle around you, which I forget what it does, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. And this is going to be the first boss that kind of gives you some sort of issues, if you're going to have issues here. Uh, if you can clear him, you're on the right path. This isn't the hardest boss for this soloing, or for soloing this, but it is, I think, personally one of the harder ones. I had a very hard time soloing him for... Longest time, once I cleared him, I was like, oh, thank God. But after that, you're going to go just follow the map. It's, I, open, I open my map throughout this video, and like I do all my mount runs, but it's a very straightforward map. You can't really get lost, but thought I'd show you anyway. Uh, that The next trash packs are kind of annoying, especially if you're melee. Uh, the stuff on the ground, they just kind of cast fire bolts and stuff like that. You can interrupt and uh, just kill them, obviously. Uh, the guys flying in the sky, you have to get them to the, the the flying thing. You have to get it to about 45% health, I think, before the trolls jump off of it. And you do have to kill the trolls uh, to get the boss to spawn. So um, if you're ranged, that won't be an issue. But if you're melee, it's kind of annoying. Especially for like a warrior, because I only have that storm bolt that it's like a 30 second cooldown. And then my heroic throw. So as you see, I'm kind of just walking around, waiting, my, waiting out my 6 second heroic throw cooldown just to get this guy off of his mount. But finally, I get him, I kill him, and then the boss will spawn. And uh, this one's not that difficult either. He does more damage th as the fight goes on, I think, which kind of sucks if you're not as geared because you will die here. I, I, this was like the second boss I had a lot of issues with right after that, the one before this. He also spawns a totem that I think used to teleport you to another realm. I just you just I just killed it, and then I don't have to worry about it. But uh, yeah, if, if you do see yourself getting low, pop some defensive cooldowns, uh, some self-healing as well. And I sped up the rest of this fight because, obviously, while I'm, while I'm filming a video, I get no procs for anything. My rotation starts to suck, so... Just sped up a lot of the boring parts because, I mean, I'm just, I just want to show you guys how to get through this, kind of give you some general pointers instead of showing you, you know, an unsped up version that is... that doesn't need to be that long. 
So, moving on, you're going to go here and talk to Lord Walker Cho to start the event. And he will tell you about the story of the next boss. There's four bosses in the next fight. And he will tell you about each of them, give you a story, a, a history lesson kind of. And uh, these things will, there's like four, uh, for each story there's ads that will spawn. These guys just cast stuff at you, you want to kill them. And uh, once you kill all four of these trash things, you can go to the boss. But uh, I forget, I forget all the bosses, all the histories. But I think this next guy was like the hunter. The next guy was a thief that stole from the rich. And then the last guy is Meng, who there is, he doesn't never heard of him, but apparently he was like the uh, some sort of like really bad guy. I think this is like I'm just trying to remember off like two weeks of doing this. So I don't remember for sure, but but the uh, but yeah. So you're gonna kill these guys. These guys just do melee, and the other guys before this, I think they had some sort of cast that were uninterruptible. Uh, but this fight is definitely the hardest in my opinion. If you if you cannot do this fight, don't worry. It will take a little bit of a uh, little bit of time. I still couldn't do this at 704 item level. So uh, after a while, this first boss will spawn, and right off the bat, I pop a defensive cooldown because as you may have seen, he does like a front of cone ability that does about 20% of your total health, which you'll see soon. He'll do it again. He does it every like 10 seconds. Uh, don't send that front of cone. But uh, he takes about 20% of your health, so you want to kill him very quickly without popping your cooldowns. Because the next guy is actually the hardest of this fight. So you kill this guy, and the next guy comes out. I, I brought him straight to this guy, so I didn't have to waste any time. Uh, I pop all of my uh, offensive cooldowns. I don't obviously stand in the volley in front of him. And there's... I just see guards running around towards you. Don't get hit by those. But uh, the next next two guys aren't really that hard. They just do a cast that you want to interrupt. But the guy I just killed, he's the hardest because after about 15, 20 seconds of fighting him, I don't remember the exact time, he'll do something, I forget what it's called, but it basically drops arrows from the sky and they stun you permanently. And you cannot get out of it unless you have like a PvP trinket or anything sort of like that. I don't know if Ice Block works for mages, but I know that like for a warrior, if you... If you get caught with that, you're dead. If you don't have a PvP trinket. And if it happens more than once, you're pretty much dead. So that guy took forever because I'd always just be... He'd be like 10% and then he'd do that stupid stun and I'd die. And it's very frustrating. Especially because it takes a kind of a long time to die. But uh, if you can kill that boss, you are set. You're good to kill the next boss for sure. So you're going to go back to where you killed those four adds beforehand. And you're going to go underneath the platform. And you're going to go to the final zone. This is the this next boss who drops the mounts by the way the mount looks exactly like the boss so if you think this mount looks awesome or the boss looks awesome that's the mount that you get but uh this is the second last boss of the instance i obviously don't show you the last boss because he's irrelevant to this mount run but you can skip this trash over here if they're not too close to you obviously but the next trash pack they what do they do i think they have like a like a cast and the frontal cone ability. I just slurred my words there because I think I'm drunk. But yeah, no, I think yeah these guys just do melee and then the one guy does a frontal cone as you're going to see here, that blue thing. So obviously don't stand in that. And then there's two more trash packs that you're going to pull, you're going to kill. And then a little bit of a history lesson again from Lorewalker Cho who uh, in Mr. Pandaria was, as, as has his name Stace, he was the Lorewalker. He was kind of into the lore, kind of helped you out story-wise, lore-wise. And... Pretty cool guy. A lot of people like seem to like him. I never really followed the lore of the story, but people seem to like him. Uh, these trash packs do a lot of cast, that front of cone ability, and a lot of melee. So you might need to pop a defensive depending on how geared you are or how squishy you are. After a few minutes, Lore Walker Cho makes his way down here, does a whole bunch of RP. Then you talk to him to start the boss fight, boss spawns, and then you want to just go just go straight at him. So I just pop all my cooldowns right off the bat, and ideally you want to kill him before he gets rid of the platform which i'll talk about in a second but uh but yeah i don't know exactly how not to get that to happen i think he ha it happens anyway but to help make it not happen as fast what you have to do is he's going to spawn these energy charges and i usually just kill those two that i just killed because that gives me one more set of energy charge spawns before he gets rid of the platform and the more gear i get the more i'll be able to not have that happen or just be able to kill him before he takes away the platform. But uh, in the meantime, I just wanted to show you guys what happens if you don't get uh, off. If you don't... If, if, if Sorry, if the platform does despawn. So um, I believe if you kill all six of the energy charges, he'll just keep spawning them until I think five or six later. He'll just be like, fuck it, I'm just going to spawn these damn things. Uh, so these are the things I was just talking about that he spawns. 
Um, once you see them go up, get off the platform because as you're going to see, he despawns it. And if you're on there, you're going to fall off. So I wait until the platform has despawned to start killing these pillars because the one time I did it, I just went like right when I got off the platform, I started killing them and then it bugged out. They wouldn't die. So uh, someone said that there's it's been a bug since Mr. Pandaria that that happens. So I just wait till they die. It doesn't take that long. It takes maybe five, ten seconds. And then you go around killing all of them. In the meantime, he's spawning ads around you kill them once you kill all these things and then go back on the boss it's basically starting all over again so that was the that was a that was a mount guide on how to get the astral cloud serpent i believe it's called in mogushan vaults if you have any questions feel free to let me know down below in the comments i'll try to do my i'll try to do my best to answer all of them good luck in farming this mount hopefully you get it sooner rather than later thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a marvelous day see you later has been destroyed.